Hello everybody and welcome back to the wonderful world of Star Sector. It's not really all that wonderful, a lot of war going on at the moment, but you know what, Jupiter Pratt has some things he needs to do today. First up on that list is going to be sorting out this empire. It has grown large and a little bit cumbersome. Uh, we're gonna need a lot more AI cores in order to really make a dent in things, but we have really, we, I think we've built nine Kletka simulators now. Pretty much every planet we have that has a cold biome, not this one, uh, is able to get Kletka simulators, or at least on in a more efficient way. Also, you absolutely need to have dinosaurs. Where are your dinosaurs, sir? Thank you very much. We are bringing all of those cores over here, though, as we produce them, and boom, there's another one. Okay, perfect. That's another AI core for the pile. So, we need to start filtering over some of these... Uh, where are they now? Colonies, there we go. We need to start filtering over some of these. We are currently at our maximum cap of administrators and our own cap. And the only way we're going to get space back is A, by expanding. We only get a tiny bit back. And B, by swapping these guys out for actual, you know, AI personalities. That is going to be very, very important. There are also some AI cores being installed on planets doing other work for us. Like, for example, the Kletka simulators there and over here. Those need to stay there. They will dramatically improve the efficiency of those simulators, allowing us to get other cores. We could pull them off short term, but I don't think that's a good idea. Another thing I want to do today while we're waiting for money to come in is to go and visit all our various colonies that we've picked up. Uh, there's been some requests to see it, so I think we'll do just that. I genuinely don't know where the second one is. It might be under the military tab, right? Uh, Agraeus? Now they're attacking me. I'm attacking Harvester, and I'm attacking Samar. So where's Samar? Oh, Samar is down here. I don't know how I missed that. But there we go. So we need to, we should probably do the rounds and uh, go visit some of the hometowns because we we picked up a lot more a lot, a lot many more systems and we haven't really done anything with that information. Yeah, so I'm going to go around and, and, and install uh, VPCs and put together more AI cores and whatnot and maybe even in, create a few more Kletka simulators while we're out there. Lots of gamma cores and alpha cores to get this going. Oh, it looks like we have actually captured Samar and now we are over our penalty over our uh, administration limit. That is a little scary. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Get this a mega port. And we're gonna have to stabilize this real soon. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Hegemony wants to cease fire. I'm gonna accept it for now. We can always betray them. Uh, I think what's important here is that we... We stabilize and then go back to war once we're in a better place. Ah, now that is an interesting thing to note. We are no longer aggro to the co-combine, so we can't actually fight them because we've because the hegemony and the co-combine are the same faction, basically. Ah, uh, that's a bit of a problem. Okay, so there's one left. If we have a look at the faction directory, this is going to be our this is my bible at the moment. Um, I thank you for the person who showed me how to use this. It's so helpful. So co-combine's got one planet left. The Magellans have six. The Myasurans have two, but they're not really anything of value. Pirates have quite a few. That's good for me. I think maybe we go after the Diktat next. They're a small faction, but they're like kind of, we're sharing systems with them and I don't like that. Yeah, Bulldog Coalition's gonna be a tough nut to crack. They've got some serious industry. Uh, Dusselt, Mikoyan, not that scary, but their ships are really dangerous. Diable Avionics has been crushed by the Hegemony before we got there. The Eridana Utopia Corporation is, they're basically out of the game already. Hegemony still got eight worlds and decent size. The Imperium's down to five. Independents are a serious powerhouse, but they don't really have the ability to affect me just yet. We're not going to be taking out the independents in this series. I don't think it's necessary. Um, we could. I mean, there's nothing stopping us once we get, but I think we're going after the big boys first. So it's going to be the Hegemony, the Imperium. Uh, who else who have we got here? Yeah, definitely Hegemony and Imperium. Definitely Tritachion, Diktat, Persian League. Once we've got those guys out of the game, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we're doing elsewhere otherwise. But uh, for now, that's the goal. Okay, we are here in Samar system now. Checking this place out. What have we got in storage? Absolutely nothing. Wonderful. You know what? Take all this crud and we'll, we'll have it shipped over at some point. Once I remember to set up the thing. Uh, you're being upgraded over there. This is basically a brand new world. I don't think we really need this. But we've got it now for some reason. Uh, one thing we can do with this is... Oh no, I've gone blank. Never mind. Oh yeah, we've built a variable assembler. That's what we could do. And then at least it'll have something going for it, right? Give me a variable assembler. And we're going to give that a few days to get started. There we go. And then we're going to put in... Ah, I wonder, what do we actually want to build here? You know what? You're going to be probably doing some heavy industry for me at some point. So let's give you a little boost to that now. 
That should help offset some of the demands of, of mining and things. Although not really, does it? But why don't you make something I don't need right now, but I might want later. Like something like 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 luxury goods. That could be helpful. Or do I just have regular goods? Because then you don't even have to import them. Yeah, there we go. Domestic goods, perfect. Okay, then let's explore the rest of the system so that the uh, so that Samar actually functions. We have an acid world and a barren world nearby. Oh, and since we're here, we should almost certainly no, not transfer the market. God damn it! Help with the rebellion problem. Take, take, take. There we go. That should that should pacify Samar in no time. Also, someone told me that Nevada is not actually the name of the desert. The <laughs> Nevada is the name of the state, the Mojave. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The Mojave. There we go. That is the name of the desert, the Mojave Desert. There you go. There you go. Okay, We've, uh, we're geographically correct now. I'm just going through the planets and upgrading megaports and building Pletka simulators and so on and so forth ad infinitum. It never ends. It never, ever ends. Okay, there we go. Found a gate. Only took a few jumps, but it's right next to Samar and Elf. There's a gate up in the top of this system, which we could use to travel back and forth to this area much faster. It's, it's worth a bit of time investing a bit of time uh, in, in finding these things. Also, I did notice that one of my... One of my fleets... One of my planets, sorry, is a candidate for a Kletka simulator. And uh, I can't remember which one. Something with a K. Oh god, there's so many of them. Oh, this is getting out of hand. Zoheras, it's with a Z. That's def that's not a K. Definitely not. Uh, but no, we're gonna build one of those. Perfect. What the hell is this? Recast military base. Cool. Cool. But yeah, definitely build that. Where is it? Who knows? We need to go get more AI cores anyway. Okay, so Zoheras is like crazy far away. 26 light years away. In this direction somewhere. Is it one of these ones? Is it that one? Ah, it's near Roundy. Okay, we're going out there anyway. Make sure to bring some AI cores. Hopefully there's a gate, because that'll make speeding there and back a hell of a lot faster. Another thing I was told to do was to switch this over to a free port, not only for the nice money boost, but simply because that will allow us to then sell these drugs, all 47,000 of them, on our own open market for 1.1 million bucks. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Uh, and considering it's quite literally free, uh, that's pretty good. We've, <laughs> we've got a 120... <laughs> we've devalued the drug trade. Um, this is a real, real CIA moment right over there. Holy shit. Wow, flooding our own place with... Uh, with the, you know what? Let's just do it with everything. Fuck it. Uh, shave the ship components uh, because we could use them for other stuff. I do want to go back and try and repair that Star Forge if I can remember where it was. I'll keep the relic components, we'll sell this, we'll sell these, we'll sell that. I'm just gonna devalue the market over here for the- just for the fun of it, to be completely honest. Give me like, uh, give me like... Yeah, give me 50,000 of these as well. Let's just see if we can crash our own economy, just for the- just for the memes. Another 1.3 mil. A little bit of an excess going on here. Let's see what that does to the place in the next- uh, in the next few days. And then what we're gonna do also is uh, turn this off. There we go, it'll lose us a bit of cash a month, but I, I just want to see what that looks like at the end of the next month. As for the various rebellions going on, there are none left. We've, uh, it looks like we've actually managed to do it. I forgot to call any threats, sorry. Oh, there's one left, there's one in Jangala, and that's it. We've quashed every single other rebellion, even the Ludic Church ones, which is extra hard. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see what this looks like at the end of the next month. Okay, number one. Another Alpha Core, fantastic. Uh, but I noticed that the three Alpha Cores I, I was told I got didn't actually appear here, so I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they got intercepted on the way. Or maybe they're slowly making their way over here. That's also very possible. Uh, who knows what half of these couriers are actually doing at this point. Okay, we moved a couple AI Cores around. The next month has ticked over. We have five! There we go, they all finally arrived. Perfect. And I imagine there'll be even more on the way this month. We're starting to really, really produce these at a disgusting rate now, which is just fantastic. Uh, we now have five AI cores to play with, which means uh, it's slowly starting to gear up. I'm, I'm still going around and setting up all the Kletka simulators I can. Um, we're gonna need to jump over to here so that we can uh, head down to Mock Moon and some of our other territories. I really do need to see what they've got going on. Oh, we've got a Lasher Frigate over here. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, lots of things are being built. 
I'll do an overview of all the planets at some point. I like that the Mesozoic Park here has like uh, sea dinosaurs, which is good fun. Nice little, nice little quality of life touch there. We can also take this off hazard pay and make a bit more money now. I'm also going through from time to time and just sort of seeing what can be taken off hazard pay, what needs to stay on it, you know, making sure we stay within rationality. Okay, so we're going to take a trip up to Mock Moon. I know we're low on resources, but I do believe Mock Moon has a way station, which means we should be able to refuel while we're out there. Now, also, listen, I, I've heard your pleas for me to get an agent, okay? I have looked for agents. I cannot find them. Everyone tells me go to bars, look in the shady, look for the shady man. I go to bars, I look for the shady man. No shady man appears. I have done everything I can to find these men. They don't want to show up. There's nothing else I can do. So I'm sure agents exist. I just have a feeling that they're currently bugged for my game. Okay, so start me out here. You're getting upgraded for sure. And your ass is getting replaced. Welcome to retirement. Okay, so this is Mock Moon. Eh, nothing too crazy. But it is a halfway point for a lot of our stuff. Oh, what we can do here is... Oh, this is going to be stupidly wasteful. Oh, God, we lost so much money doing this, but I'm going to build a variable assembler just so that we, uh, since we're here, we can assign a VPC. Uh -huh, there we go. I want you to make me some... You know what? This would be a good supply hub. Why don't you make me some supplies? And then go back to making some fuel. Would also be very nice. Yeah, this can be like a nice halfway point. Oh, that was expensive to swap that around there. Ouch. Okay, here we are at Soheres, a habitable tundra world. Very cool to see, to be honest. You don't often get to see these in Star Sector. Um, let's go ahead and put down a variable assembler. Actually, I'm not sure why I said that. I don't think that's true. I think you get a lot of tundra worlds, now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I don't know why I thought these were rare for a second there. They're not. They're not at all. Uh, we need to repair... And, oh, the clicker simulator. That's why I'm here. You. Assign a gamma. I've decided the alphas, uh, even though it is more efficient, I think we're going to keep the alphas for, for colony administration. Now that we've got so many of them, the efficiency is less important. Next up is periphery system. Just I'm going to all the ones with gates first, just because it's simpler. It's also easier to defend them, should the time come. Oh, by the way, did we ever find out where that pirate was? Uh, let's have a quick look here. No, it doesn't look like we did. Okay, cool. I'm gonna have to go gonna have to go to one of the bars and figure out where that pirate base is so we can send a strike fleet to take care of it. Oh, this is a Ludic majority planet. They're gonna hate being rolled by an AI, but you know what? That's not my problem, is it? I just work here. Okay, Epiphany has an AI core. Fantastic. Okay, and then I think wrapping up the AI insertion error of this episode, we're going to sort out Hesperus and Tartessus as well. Sorry, anime waifu, you're no longer needed. We have AI Core now. Yes, AI Core, good. We like AI Core. Head down to Tartessus and do the same. Perfect. And we've got one more. I'm doing all the ones close to home first. There's a couple places in the Corvus system that could use it. Uh, Vraselvik is in Valhalla. Saltus Divinus in Exvis. Scathi, Valhalla. Staging Point Eclipse. Um, Volturn in Esconia system. You know what? Take me back to Chris Pratt house place first, because I think what I'm going to do is refuel, go and invade the Dictat, and then replace all their administrators with AI. I think that's the play right now. And we know what? We'll do a double strike. We'll go after um, we'll go after some other minor factions at the same time, or maybe actually just the Hegemony. Hold on, is that is that the Hegemony? Is are they in Kamari Kundam now? No, still the Persian League. Okay, cool. I was like, well, they're begging for war then. We're leaving the Persian League alone because they're a, they're like a major minor faction, like they're a minor major faction. Don't know what the correct phrasing is there, but they're not that important. Um, they aren't really going to be able to hurt us in the same way the hegemony could, if they really wanted to. Okay, we did not produce. Oh, we got four alpha cores, but they're not here yet. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do? Hmm, what am I actually going to do? All right, before we do anything, I think we want to get some fleets on our side, so let's set those up. Definitely doing invasions. We're going to send them from Karak, out of pure tradition at this point. And where are we going to send them to? I think we're going to go after Harvester. I want to knock out Co-Combine once and for all here. Uh, let's, let's, this time we're going to really overdo it. Last time we were, we were betting against the edges. This time we're going, like, all out. So double their st space strength. And I think, like, you know what? Fuck, we got money. 1.5 times their space strength. 
Triple, that's the word, that's how you say it. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely, that's gonna crush them without any trouble. Triple their ground strength, proceed, a million bucks. You know what, I can do 22 more of those. Okay, continue. Next one, we're going after, we're going after the Diktat. And I want, again, I want to get this stuff on the side here as my, uh, as my go-to guy. So we're gonna, as in we're gonna use these fleets to deal with the peripheral places, and then we'll go in ourselves for the, for the local. We don't have to cheap out too much yet. I think we're going to just build another standard fleet. We'll do like a 700, 9,000 is probably the way to do it. So that looks good. Proceed. Let's do another one. Uh, next up, we're going after... That was Igoi. Let's go after Minus. Confirm. And proceed. And then, is there anybody else? So we've got, obviously, this Asconia. All right, jump me in. We're taking him on. Oh, and the Lion's Guard already coming after me. I'm going to see if we can smash them. Yes, with the Pursue. Fantastic. The Order Resolve just saves us that precious time. Let's us get through this a lot faster. Let's us do a lot more damage a lot more quickly. Okay, what's next? What's next? We're going after Kruor first. Sindria is going to be the real hard nut to crack. I'm going to be very careful about how we fight them. Kruor doesn't even have a Orbital Post. Yeah, and Volturn's already being assaulted by someone. Supremacy and Wrath, engaged in battle, huh? Yeah, I think we need to get involved in this. My ships are still doing okay, but I think we want to help here. Continue. I think we're going to send in everybody. Probably not the Paragons, they won't get there in time. Nor the, uh, I actually want to leave the Odyssey behind at this point. Uh, let's send in all the Fast Strike ships. I'm going to try and get in there get in there real quick and, uh, and assist. Yeah, that Midline Station might be able to deal with one, uh, one of these conquests, but not two. And definitely not with the supporting fleet. And not with like three kite shuttles on their side. I, I think we needed to help here. Or we would have lost Volturn Station. Which to be fair doesn't have that much of an impact on your income. It's just you lose the stability and it's very easy for you to be invaded then afterwards. And make no mistake, they will be coming for me. Okay, I think we need a 1v1 this conquest. In Minecraft. Take him out, boys. Take him out. Okay, we're not exactly 1v1ing at this point. It's more like 1v fleeting, but it's working. Can't argue with results. Okay, I think let's go after this hammerhead. And then we'll swing around further on them. Nice, that's one down. And then we're going to deal with this Dominion. Oh, God. Someone did ask me, by the way, uh, how I turned off the big ship explosions. I'll be releasing a tutorial about just exactly that uh, shortly after this video comes out. So uh, don't worry if you've been wondering how you could turn off those god-awful bright flashes when the ships explode. I'll, uh, I'll be showing you how to do that very, very soon. So uh, hit that sub button, like the video, etc., etc. I mean, just do that anyway if you like the video, please. And thank you very nicely. Um, it's, uh, it's a huge help to the channel. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm getting a little bit lost here, okay? The coffee's wearing off already. Shoot, just shoot the Dominator, please. Thank you. Nice, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, cool. Now we go after the Conquests, which uh, in Venice have already been gone after pretty hard by the rest of my fleet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, they're, they're done. Okay, we're done here. Okay, claim victory because we're on a time we're on time pressure here. Join that pursuit, get that second in command to handle it. Get some eradicators after. No, I don't want to transfer it. I want a second command to handle it. There we go. Send them out there. Perfection. Pick through that wreckage, take it all, and we're gonna just dump it here at Volturn. Hold on, did you guys see that? There's a genocide happening right across the road from us here. Saturation bombardment on La Riol. The Boltox Coalition is is nuking. It's glassing a planet. Oh my god. Okay, but they won't succeed. The Bombardment Space Forces are outmatched. They're basically gonna just destroy everything. It'll turn the planet into a uh, large polished glass marble. That's a bit dark. Also, we should probably save a copy before we lose the game here. And by the way, if you were ever wondering if that does anything, I'm already back up to 61 frames after. I think it'll be on about 20, so yeah, it's, it's a good time. Saving a separate file will often deal with the memory leak on its own. All right, so we're going to immediately bombard Kruor, tactically, of course, and then we're going to invade it. We're gonna go straight in, proceed, start off right here with electronic warfare, 
and land the troops. Okay, that should be more than enough to crush them in one go, which means I'm actually going to go and uh, head over to Sintria already. I don't think we even need to maintain that position. Yeah, and we are winning without any trouble. There's a bit more resistance at the shipping docks than I would have liked, but that's okay. Uh, why don't we move you over to there, and that should sort it out once and for all. Oh, here comes the Lion's Guard patrols. And, oh, looks like we pissed off the Imperium too. Okay, which means we're going to need to get some more fleets going. Invasion fleets, we're going to send these ones out. We're going up to uh, Nova Capitalis over there. Uh, we're going to want to send these from... Ooh, good question. Probably... Where's our nearest Bastion? Honestly, it's still... It's still... It's still Karak. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to send an invasion fleet of truly galactic proportions to Nova Capitalis here. Yeah, we're going to have to just really ramp this all the way up. We might even need to send three. Yeah, 1.4 million. Send it. Send it. Send it. I'll pay 3 million. Uh, 4.3.5 million? How much am I paying for that? I've actually lost track. Mm-hmm. Are we winning yet? Are we winning yet on Cruor? We have won, but for some reason we moved away from the mining. Doesn't make sense to me, but okay. Just get your ass over to mining, please. Thank you. Because then I can instant repair here. Which I think I need to restart the game. Okay, cool. We've captured Cruor. That's a big one for us. That's really good. I'm going to immediately assist with the rebellion problem, otherwise I will forget to, and this place will be lost to us again, and the Dictat will be back on the board. They're pretty scary. They're pretty scary, make no mistake. And I'm actually going to immediately assign you an AI core, even though we might lose you. Do you know what? Get upgraded while you're at it. Well, they were not doing much with this place, huh? Like at all. Um... Yeah, give it an orbital station for starters, then we'll worry about industries. Okay, now to deal with the Imperium or the Dictat first. I'm not sure which is honestly worse. We have ordered those triple fleets up to the Imperium's homeworld, so I guess this is our next point of call. I think we should probably go help out the, the station over here. This needs to survive. This is going to be how we deal with a lot of their fleets, I think. Yeah, and then we'll go help out those dudes over there. Oh, and they're just leaving. Okay, that's fine too. What are you? A mining fleet? Yeah, you're attacking the mining fleet. We're probably going to want to keep them alive so we don't lose out on too much here. Okay, awesome. In fact, just by running them down like this, we can actually uh, auto-resolve. Great. Great. Take it all. And hunt. Ah, shit, we lost the mining fleet after all. I love the Imperial music. It's so goofy. Let's try out these battle cruisers. I might want to actually pick up a couple for myself. I'm also starting to think maybe I want to get myself some of these Carnifex bombers. They are just so freaking overpowered. Also, I think it's time that we retire the Odyssey. It's just not very good. And instead, I'll swap out one of these Imperium battle cruisers. Also, really slow. Uh, I noticed my top speed's been like really messed up, and I think I now know why. Uh, I was going through all the ships, and uh, they're by far and away the slowest ones in our fleet. Oh, there goes the card effects missiles. Yep. Yep, that'll do it. Yeah, these little strike craft have taken us this far, but I think they're getting seriously outclassed at this point. I think it's time we got some strike bombers of our own. We got enough point defense. Oh, we actually lost one of the brilliance. No surprises there, I suppose. I'm dealing with these little destroyers first. Yeah, and then there's these battle cruisers. They're kind of like Odysseys, just with all their guns pointing in the same direction, which is uh, maybe maybe a bit of an upgrade, to be completely honest. That's my one big complaint. Oh god, card effects is run, run, run. Uh, that's probably my biggest complaint with the Odyssey, is that its guns are <laughs> a little um, insane in their placement, to say the to put it politely. I love that this uh, Ard Ardea class over here is straight up just a reskinned heron. Like, sometimes the mod makers go all out, and sometimes they kind of just phone it in, and I can really respect that. The reskin is gorgeous, though. Make no mistake. Okay, those battle cruisers stood no chance. Maybe as, like, a Paragon escort they could work? I don't know, I just kind of remember them having decent flux stats from, uh, from a previous playthrough. It wasn't on YouTube, unfortunately. Oh, that music's so goofy. I love it. Okay, ship recovery. Obviously, we're getting ours back. 
We could get one of these big boys. You know what? I'll I'll spend uh, I'll spend a, a story point to bring him into the fold. Let's see what he's all about. Okay, let's go offload some stuff here at Volturn and repair and do all the good things we need to do. Uh, Volturn does have a way station, right? Nope. We need to get one of those going ASAP so that we can get some... Uh, I think it's going to be our staging ground for a lot of fights here, if I'm honest with you. The gene lab, huh? Probably don't know. Don't, probably don't still need the gene lab. Whatever was there has been removed, so we could probably shut that down, right? Yeah, nothing's come back. Okay, cool. Let's get the cash back. Okay, here we go. Sindria. I've been com people have been complaining like crazy that I say Sindarian. Apparently the Sindrian Diktat, and this is very important for this made-up thing in a non-English language. Uh, it, it, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We're going to go up against the, uh, excuse me, the um, mm -mm, Sindrian Diktat Guardian Fleet. Not the Sindarian, not the Sindarian, just the Sindrian Diktat Fleet. Make no allowances for dyslexia or other learning disabilities. Just, 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 just mock people on the internet uh, without, without any consequence. That's the way we do things around here. All right, deploy and send. Oh my God, I've somehow lost hull armor on the right, uh, right hand side. What's that, starboard? Starboard's over here, right? I used to have an acronym for it in my head and I can't remember what it is now. Not an acronym, what's the thing where you, uh, where you, oh my God, can you stop shooting me? For 10 se- oh Jesus, the range. Holy shit, okay, dampen, dampen, dampen. It's over, it's over, we're leaving. Okay, my ship's out of the game. Ah, you know, we'll just flank the sides. Gotta take on a station and that's what you get. Crazy, huh? Is that thing almost dead? Oh my God, it's like, like one HP. We nearly killed it too. Okay, I feel a bit more uh, validated in my choices. Oh, wait a minute, Oop, did not see, did not see the Paragon over there. Quite a big thing to miss, you'd think, but uh, have you met me? We should probably have brought some friendly fleets along for this one. This is uh, this is quite a big ask for my little fleet on its own. Sindri is kind of a, a super fortress of a planet, but we're going to do our best here. We are sandwiching this Dominator between two withering hailstorms of fire, and it's going about as well for them as you'd expect. They're not really meant to uh, work. Like, if they wanted me to take the Dominator, they should have made it good, maybe. Oh, apparently there were some Pratt Consortium ships in this fight. What the hell were they doing here? Ah, shit. As we finish fighting, the big the big boy comes around to face us. Alright, back off, back off, back off. Okay, looks like the Paragons are doing their thing, though. That station is slowly losing. But we've still got quite a fight. This Conquest is in the way, and they've got a lot of guns left. Oh no, never mind. I think they just overloaded. Yes, they did. This might be the this might be this might be the opportunity my faction's been looking for to put them out of their misery. Come on, boys, get him! Brag him! Come on! There we go. That's one. Two more. Oh no, we've really got the other subsession. Okay, perfect. So it's just down to one one segment of the station. I thought oh, we won. We won. All right, we managed to do it without losing the Odyssey. I, I the ship hasn't died in a while. I'd like to keep that uh, that reputation going. I really do like that the stations rotate, and that you can't damage the things through the back. I, I think it's it's well done. It just it adds a nice little bit of challenge to them, and things like that. Like the AI can make mistakes by firing missiles into a, a pointless area, right? Can I? Oh, okay, okay. Excuse me. Can you come a bit closer? Uh, the camera camera was fighting me on that one. Sorry, gamers. Okay, we've won. Mm, I don't think we're going to recover any ships there. I think we're just going to pick up everybody. Drop off all the stuff we don't want, which is most of it, to be honest. Oh, I think the game just crashed. Yep, nope, the game crashed. Okay, there we go, we're back. I had to basically redo the entire uh, second half of this episode, but <laughs> we made it ever since that last save. Uh, but we are back, we are back. Um, and yes, the, our detachments are fighting their detachments. Everybody's fighting everybody. We still have to not deal with the... Artillery station? What? Did we just get a free fight on that? Oh, dude, I need to get in here right now, then. Um, military options. Uh, oh, for God's sake, there's another goddamn battle carrier. Okay, hold on, let's get in there. My poor ship is so beaten. I'm gonna send in the Dreadnoughts, the Odyssey, and a few support ships, and just let this one play itself. Okay, cool. That's done. Thank God. 
Uh, orbital bombardment, absolutely. They have like heavy batteries, high command, tactical drills, EX, dude. They they they're going off over here. Two thousand fuel to bombard that, which uh, gives you an idea of how huge this place was. And proceed with that invasion immediately. Auto move it and turn abilities. We're going to want to use electronic warfare immediately as well. And uh, oh shit, this is going to be a fight. Okay, I think we need to consolidate forces in one place. I think we take out the military base first and foremost. Missile artillery, huh? No, military base first and foremost. Get in there. Okay, we managed to drop three battalions, totaling 6,000 combat power right there. I'm not even sure if they have that much on planet, but that's how much we've got to survive right now. Um, our friendly detachment should be able to deal with it. What the hell was that? Defender used Inspire. No, you didn't, you piece. Oh my god, they totally did. Okay, okay. We're still winning over there. Next up, I think we need to take out the Lion's Guard HQ. It's a very, very, very powerful uh, structure that we want to make sure the enemy's not getting any buffs out of. I think we're going to deploy two units over there. This way, no matter what they move in, we can hold the positions we've currently taken. Or at least that's the dream, right? Okay, next move. We need to deploy... I think we need to start taking some strategic positions, so let's go after things like fuel production. Start forcing them to spread out their forces a little and refining. Oh, uh, we can't deploy. Okay, I only won this turn. Fair enough. And let's use some fire support as well. And uh, we're gonna drop that on the Lion's Guard HQ. Dealing 105 damage to the enemy. Oh my god, look at how much they've... Uh... We can loot this? Ah. Oh. Oh, cool. So even if you don't win, you can just take stuff. Awesome. Okay, we don't need to do that. I do want to see the colony info, actually. What's, uh... Got a gamma core on there. Missile artillery. That's so good. Oh, I can't wait to rebuild that. Okay. We could use Inspire. I don't think we need it right now. This is terrifying. That's even more terrifying. Looks like they're really going after the fuel production. Let's, uh, let's drop another battery there. Another battalion, rather. Sorry. Uh, and then I'm going to put one on refining as well. We're gonna, again, we're trying to split their forces a bit here, even though they seem to be happy to consolidate them. Yeah. I think we need to move out of HQ. Are we out of move points? Shit. Okay. Hold. Let's keep it steady for a few more days, boys. We can win this. We can win this. We're going to need to take those ground batteries shortly. Excellent. And that's my move for the day. Honestly, if we're spending the supply, we might as well move him. Or rather, if we're spending the move points, we might as well just spend some supply and get more boots on the ground here. I think let's go after the missile artillery next. We are not winning at fuel production, but that's okay. The men are holding. That's all that matters. We have captured that. We just go after the spaceport as well. I don't know if there is a reorganization function, but if there is, that's definitely how it will be sorted. Yeah, you go get control of the nav boy. Good man. Okay, how are we doing here? Uh, we've lost control of orbital works, but that's all right. Let's move into it now. Orbital works, select, confirm. And we're actually winning. We're actually winning at this location. They've, they've redistributed their forces somewhat. It's good for me. Oh, Samar's so hit size four. That's awesome. Uh, Samar, why don't you build yourself, uh, start off with one of these, and then how about you get yourself something fun? What about, like, uh, a little bit of something original, something we haven't done before? Oh, I know, refining. Okay, we're actually winning. We're actually winning. Holy shit. Um, the only place where we really need help is right here on the orbital works. Have I got any men left to deploy? I've got two battalions left before we have to make some more. Uh, let's drop one of them on the orbital works. And the other I want to deploy probably here to the missile artillery. Uh, if we've got enough juice. We do not. Of course we don't. This has been a really hard fought battle, but I think we're actually going to win. And just to absolutely ensure it, I'm going to use some more fire support. Uh, where do we want that? I don't think it's necessary, actually. Rather than risking the disruption, I think we're just going to activate electronic warfare, stop them moving, and lock it down. This should be the turn we win. This turn or next. It'll be next then, I'm assuming. Yeah, we've done it. It's just uh, 31 dudes holding out at the spaceport, but uh, Sundria is ours.
Oh, that's a big win. Now, of course, it does not yet remove the Dictat from the planet, from the board, not at all. They've uh, they've still got a lot going on. Uh, we're going to just really pump up the uh, local garrison, though. This is a little scary. You know, take some more Marines, even. 1,500 Marines, 500 mech suits, and 500 supply to keep it all running. That should hopefully do the trick. There are a lot of revenge fleets coming our way, but no... Yeah, there's no reinvasion fleets, which is really good. Really, really good. Oh, there's another one. We got three coming for us now. Uh, where's the nav boy in this system? I need to go and sort out my situation. It's a nightmare. It's over there. All right, well, while we wait for invasion fleets to arrive, let's go ahead and set up all those new planets with AI cores as their administrators. Uh, that's just going to simplify the logistics. I'm going to start doing this as we go along. So whenever we can colonize a planet now or conquer a planet, I'm going to get an AI core right away. I'm just going to keep them on me. To be completely honest, I'm pretty sure uh, in this system, I'm pretty sure Voltuin doesn't have one either. No, it doesn't. Okay, perfect. So we've got, uh, we've got lots of replacing to do here. So you are right away going to get one of these. Oh, that's Kruor. Oh, Kruor was done already. Nice. Yeah, that's all looking good, actually. You get one, too. You don't need this gene lab. I think we've been over that before. Yeah, this is all from the having to reset. Uh, anything interesting we can do in here? We could make seafloor cities. We could make... Could we make the lobsters still? Oh no, we don't need to make the lobsters. Voltun just makes the lobsters. That's right. That's like their whole thing. They make the, they make it the lobster. Uh, how about you get yourself a way station then? And that reminds me, actually, Kruor, you need like two more industries, right? Yeah. Get yourself something boring, like uh, fuel. And you're not cold. You're in fact very hot. And uh, how about you enjoy uh, enjoy a salvage yard? There's a lot going on in this system. Okay, our evasion fleets are beginning to arrive in system, so I want to head over there. I did notice I'm about to run out of supply, though, so we should head back to Kamari Kundam, and then jump back over to uh, that side of the universe so we can help. Oh, shit, Sindria's uh, Rebellion's actually done something. It's not often that that happens anymore. Uh, oh, wow, Kruor's got... Uh, this isn't Kruor, this is Sindria. Sindria's got... Uh, I was going to take a look at it. Missile artillery. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Can I restore this? Manage the colony? So how do I restore you? I think I'm just going to shut you down for the money. To be completely honest, orbital artillery. There we go. And we've removed it. Okay, cool. Can I scrap that? Nope. That's fine. We are going to jump as quickly as we can to get over there as fast as possible. I'm going to hit a quick save because I am a little bit worried about the frame rate. Uh, the game's been getting to the point now where after big battles, already any battles, there's like a 10 to 15% chance it just crashes. We're not at the death of the series point yet, but we are definitely approaching it. Okay, so we've arrived in the Min system. We actually do need to survey all of this so that we it shows up nicely on the map. But other than that, we're doing okay here. Oh, the Dictat's got an artillery station. That might be something fun to take out. And we've actually captured Min's already. That was quick. Uh, I'm going to help with the rebellion, I guess, then. Uh, since I am here, take some guns, take some men, take some men, take some guns. Do not grant autonomy. Instead, grant AI core. That's the way it's done nowadays, don't you know? Speaking of which, can we stabilize you? Yes, we can. Let's get some money back from Kruor. And where is Sindria? Kind of crazy that their home planet is a barren rock hellscape. But uh, I guess that does kind of track with the Dictat's philosophy of being the absolute worst. What kind of station was that? I don't recognize... What, what the hell is that? I don't recognize that. Is it just a mid midline? Oh, okay. Cool. I didn't... I don't... You don't often fight them. So they always... The AI always builds low tier ones. I don't know why. They cost the same. And they're just worse. Uh, anyway, take me over here. We're going to survey the rest of the system. Is there any gate in here, by the way? No, nothing of the sort. We do need to deal with that missile station, though. We, we can't leave that there. It's going to keep spawning Dictat crap. Oh, my God. Did you guys just see that? Uh, sorry, this is this very in, very anticlimactic time for that to happen. But the Cinderian Dictat has been eliminated. They lost their last stronghold of Igoi. The surviving fleets are taking refuge elsewhere. Their ambitions in the sector are clearly over today. Damn.
Oh, wow, they, they went in on them, huh? Okay, Agoy is ours. We're gonna make our way over there slowly. Let's, uh, let's scan up the rest of the system. The Imperium has conquered Agraeus. We were being attacked? I didn't even know that was happening. Okay, we'll have to go take it back. No surprises there. They they have been gunning for that again and again and again. Agraeus is actually a big money maker for us. We need to we need to head back and resolve that before this episode ends. Uh, but first things first. Oh, I didn't I didn't sort out the the other one. Uh, we need to deal with this though. Uh, I think we're just gonna take it on with uh, with the big boys. Leave the little ships out of this. They don't do much against these stations. Because you gotta like kinda get in there and shoot them from the sides. They they're weirdly powerful, these. Oh the god, it's got the claws. Oh lord, here we go. Here come the claws. Oh joy. Love me the claws. I think I'm going to largely ignore the other ships and just I'm going to focus on killing the station because they are insanely annoying. I'm starting with the hangar modules, I think. I think that's how we're going to do it here because you can shoot them through the side of the shield. There we go, just like that. I don't even care about how much damage I'm taking or whatever. It doesn't matter. We're going to finish this shit off. In fact, I think this is going to be one of those rare times I actually shoot the guns myself. Boom, there's the hangar module done. Yeah, this seems to be the strat. Is you just get up close and you shoot them where the shield doesn't quite overlap with the rest of it. Perfect, with those little uh, protective spurs. One of those rare instances where the uh, the shift move function is actually really really helpful. I almost never use it because um, I, I kind of like it when you know. There's, I don't know. I, I I like the idea that you have to sort of actively be pointing yourself at the enemy. You know, it's like an active process rather than just hold button brain empty. But uh, this this time I don't mind the brain empty so much. Oh god, and I am I am losing frames. I don't know if we're gonna make it out of this one without a crash. Thankfully I did just save on the way here. Nice! Oh, I thought we took him out. No, that was just the missile going off. Now it's nice. There we go. Okay. Kind of crazy that these missile stations just get like a free fleet attached to them, but uh, who am I to be upset? Except the guy having to deal with it, I guess. Maybe I am the guy who gets to be upset. Who knows? Internet's a weird place these days. And I guess we can't claim victory, right? Because this fleet can't technically retreat. Like, it doesn't exist in as far as the game is concerned. It was spawned for this encounter. It's like one of those remnant combat fleets. That's like a weaponized atlas, that. It's an interesting idea. So, did we win? What's left? Oh, there's a little frigate over there. I think that's everybody, right? No, oh, no, it looks like there is a brawler, which somehow made it through. It must have been in the nebula. Did we win now? I think we won now. Yeah, we won now. Okay, great. We took out the station, and that just means the Diktat is very slightly less here. Uh, the further, the less here they are, the better for me. And I will set up a courier system for this at some point. And you know what? Let me use a nanite repair module there. Save me a bit of cash.
Oh, here we go. La gun system, huh? They have no chance of winning over there. That is probably the most fortified system in the entire sector right now. I also need to give Agoy guns, men, and machines, I think. Uh-huh. Yep. Because I don't think I did that over here. I did not. Nice. And then we repair, we manage, we make sure that I'm not running the show here. Because let's be honest, I'm the least competent general I have. Also, get make a portrait, nerd. Get me in here. Take my damn, take my damn planet back. God damn it. Uh, we don't actually need to bombard this. And I tell you why. It's because, oh my god, look at that d defense fleet. Uh, yeah, I will deal with this now. I was going to say we'll deal with this in the next episode, but no, no, no. I think we'll finish off the episode by taking back our city. And today we took out the Dictat. That's the, that was the goal of the season. Um, I think next time we're going to go after the smaller factions. We're going to wipe out a lot more of the, the, the lesser factions that are kind of just in the way. Maybe even the ones that aren't, that aren't currently hostile to us, because we have to get rid of all of them eventually anyway for the, so we've got like the short term victory. If you think of it kind of like a Warhammer campaign, we've got the we've got the short victory and the long victory, right? The short victory is that we want to beat um, just the major players. Long victory if the CPU and RAM can take it, because right now they are lagging to hell. Uh, that would be to kill everybody, right? So it would be it would be pretty cool if we could. Um, and then I think that would I guess not include the independents or the pirates. I don't know. I, maybe maybe that we should just make it everybody. It is, you know, galactic conquest, after all. It doesn't imply some of the galaxy, it implies all of the galaxy. So, soft goal is to beat the big players. Main dream goal is to beat everyone. Uh, and we're going to have to get them, so if we're doing with the big goal, we're going to have to get them all eventually anyway, and I'm going to die here. Um, so we might as well get them now, right? Oh lord, okay. Even if we just deal with them with invasion fleets and we don't deal with it ourselves, that's uh, also completely fine with me. And we can then focus on the hegemony or, or the Imperium. They're very annoying. Yeah, I think it's our turn to uh, swing around the side and start start cleaning up the small ships so we can start bringing in more of ours. You know, just free up some deployment points for this battle. Uh, There's a bit of a bit of sort of gaming the, the game systems, I guess, but uh, it's it's important work. There we go. Like just by killing that, we can probably bring in no one at all. Okay, cool. Looks like they're bringing in reinforcements then. Okay, cool. We freed up a bit of space. Give me another cruiser in here. We need all the big ships we can get. I think. How are we doing? Okay, I think we can actually break out of this formation now. Let them get in there and fight a bit more. I've pulled off quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of heat. Up to this direction, which is which is actually really useful. See how it copes. I think we're gonna pull back through. You know, sort of take out little guys like that. Actually, my fighters are doing a pretty good job. My fighters are doing a pretty good job, and that missile should finish it off. Yes, it did. Okay, excellent. I think we can 1v1 this thing. The Imperium shields are far superior to ours, but I think we've got enough sauce to do it. Also, I love how you can see the ECM and the ECCM just kind of playing against each other there. Missiles spin out of control, then they regain control, then they lose it again. And, uh, it's such a cool ballet. I'd love to see it. Oh man, we might lose that Golden Eagle here. He's, uh, he's a little overexposed. Buddy, why don't you leave? Why don't you actually get the heck out of there? Uh, your ass is done too. How the hell are you even alive? You must have tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the big boys. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you just you just back off, Sonny Jim. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's very dead. Yep, there goes the Golden Eagle. That's fine, we'll recover it. Okay, through a fairly concerted effort, we have actually managed to beat them. These, uh, these Imperium mainline cruisers are no pushovers, man. I genuinely, really, really underestimated how, how, how easily they are to kill. I was wrong. They are, they are serious firepower incarnate. Um, to the point where I'm even thinking maybe we want to take a few of those with us. Because, uh, God knows the Imperium's not selling us to us. 
Uh, can we really not claim victory here? Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. Consider ship recovery, give it back. And yeah, I think I want to take one of these siege battleships. Have a look at your stats. What are you? You're a Caesar. Slow and brick-like, it's a veritable fortress covered in heavy weapons. You know what? That's kind of our playstyle. Big, heavy, strong ships. Take it. Gonna almost certainly have to build in some of the good stuff. I don't think we need to build in Agrea simply because of the domed... The domed cities. These guns do almost nothing, but uh, just to be safe, I will use Electronic Warfare. Music's very loud, isn't it? Let's take out those ground defenses first. Sorry, how do they have uh, ground defenses and heavy batteries? Could someone kindly explain? Oh, I think I think they, they use a saturation bombardment. Yeah, they did, so we don't have to worry about that anyway. This uh, Imperium Grand Exertus is uh, a little goofy looking, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to let that fight, because apparently it wants me to actually fight the fight, which is... Not something I'm interested in doing. Uh, surface battle on the Imperium. Or to move it end turn, please, because uh, we don't need to be there every time. And let's just start dropping dropping troops down wherever they'll fit. Oh, that's cool. The rebels are helping us out over here at the uh, variable assembler. I was like, what are these? What are these guys doing? But no, no. They're, they're, they're actually, the rebel forces assist you. That's so cool. Yeah, look at that. They got some rebels over there as well. Nice. They don't do much, but I mean, they help, right? I'm surprised that invasion fleet was able to get through. Now, the person in wants me to turn on my transponder. Sure, buddy. I'll remember this, though. I'll remember this. Man, Agreus is really hard to take back once you lose it. Uh, who are we missing? Okay, just just drop a tr just drop some troops on the variable assembler. Let's get out of here. Come on, I haven't got all day. It's supposed to be auto moving around. I ain't doing none of that. Okay, we're gonna win next turn, I think. Unless the AI does something very stupid with the auto move. Nope, it probably did something stupid with the auto move. Indeed it did. It left the orbital battalion. Of, co of course it did. Okay. Okay, t stop doing that. I don't need you right now. Instead, just, just drop somebody new on orbital works so that nothing else moves. We have a presence everywhere. Check. Okay, cool. Thank you. Market captured Agreus? You're damn right it is. Okay, the final piece of the puzzle for today, at least as far as I'm concerned, is going to be sorting out that last uh, that last Imperium Bastion up here, where we've got so Exvis, this one here, Nova Capitalis. I want to take that back. We've got men on the ground there right now. I want to go and assist them and uh, try and conquer that as soon as possible. What, how do you really counter invade me just as I left? Oh, you know what? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to invade your ass. I'm going to invade your damn capital. Then I'll invade my ass again. If my ass is going to be... Everyone's ass is getting invaded today. Also, uh, turn on the gate. We absolutely need that. Huh? Huh? What the hell? Why Why put the gate here if it's not able to be used? Uh, yeah. Is there not a... Invade Nova Capitalis. Proceed with the invasion. Perfection. Military options. Orbitally bombard. Bang. Okay, it was all of our fuel, but we've done it. Okay, take me to the invasion. We're taking these assholes out today. They got nothing at the defender's base. Perfect. Why am I at the heavy batteries? That's not what I meant to do. Ah, shit. Capture the mega port. The Citadel's, this, this, this thing comes with us today, okay, you hear me? Or I should definitely save. I need to fly all the way down to Saltus Divinus, don't I? Oh, I totally do. Uh, you need to auto move at turn end. Yeah, you're gonna be in trouble until I can get some more supplies. I did not plan this invasion very well. We might lose this one and have to come back. Ah, shit. No, they're dead. Yeah, they're dead. Okay, those men are dead. Did you just go to the planet, please? Yep, they won. No surprises there. And of course, I don't have a way station here. Why would I have a way station here? The one thing I build at every planet as soon as I get it. Why would I have that here? Oh, you know what I can do is I can put in an AI here while I'm here. Okay, cool. Yeah, why would I have that? That would be stupid. 
That would be too useful. Alright, fine. Fine, Imperium. Fine. I won't deal with you today. I'll deal with you next time. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. This has been a lot of fun. I will see you very soon for the next episode. And keep an eye out for that, uh, for some more Star, Star Sector tutorials. I have a few ideas about how I want to do it. I'm a little bit scared of this counter-invasion fleet. Um, yeah, I'm fairly strong, huh? Currently in system. It's a bit of a problem. Invading the invaders. I don't know how they managed to just teleport over there, but it is what it is. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers. And of course, a huge thank you to our channel members and patrons for the month. Couch Potato of the Senate, Kelly Ananas, Call Me Bo 82, Riley David, LCG Canyon Sahar, Knee Cruncher, Old Man Tater, Frickin' Friendly Beaver, Not K Arthur, Cut Beef Go Ham, Jack Smallman, Rivo, Richard Berry, Adachi, I'm Alpha, King, Raija, Sleep Deprived Sam, Jan the Pan, Eve Roxanne, Alan O'Sillaher, Charlie Weber, Mermix, Mel Roman, and Officer C4. You guys all rock.